Hello and welcome to Que Pasa Hialeah. My name is Dr. Tony Cruz. I'm the campus president at the Hialeah campus of Miami-Dade College. And this is the first installment in our Que Pasa Hialeah series where we're going to be talking with individuals from the community and learning more about things that are happening and things that we need to be better informed about. And today we're talking about an extremely important subject, and that is the U.S. Census. And today we have with us Erica Dietjen from the U.S. Census. Uh, and I'm going to have Erica introduce herself and First, I want to have Erica talk about uh, what are some of the important reasons why people should participate in the U.S. Census. Thank you so much for having me, Dr. Cruz. I really appreciate it. Um, so my name is Erica Beechin. I am a partnership specialist with the U.S. Census Bureau. I cover Miami-Dade County. And so the census will provide a snapshot of what our nation looks like, um, who we are, where we live, and so much more. The results of this once a decade count determines the number of seats each seat gets in the house each state gets in the house of representatives and it also uses um this information to draw congressional and legislative legislative districts so basically over the next decade lawmakers business owners and many others will use 2020 census data to make official decisions these results will show where communities need schools new clinics um new roads and many other services that families can use, older adults and children. So the results will inform how hundreds of billions of dollars of federal funding are allocated to more than a hundred different programs, including Medicaid, Head Start, Block Grants, and SNAP. And so this information is also used to help health care providers um, predict the spread of disease throughout the country and other communities with elderly people, children, and some of um, those communities that may be affected. Well, great. Those are really great reasons why we should all be participating. I think that because this happens every 10 years, sometimes there's hesitancy on people's part. You know, they're, they're kind of confused about the process. They're not really sure how to participate. Uh, what are some of the ways that individuals can participate in the census? So we've made it super easy with the 2020 census to participate. You, there are three different ways. Um, so you can either respond online at my2020census.gov by phone or by mail. So just it'll just come to your house. It should have already uh, been has have been delivered already. So mm -hmm. the three different ways. And there's uh, online or on on the phone. You there are three different thirteen different languages um, that you could respond with. So if English isn't your first language at home, it they, we try to make it as easy as possible. That's awesome. So a very easy process. And, you know, I, I think we've all been working very hard on trying to increase the numbers of those that are participating. Um, where does Hialeah now stand when it comes to uh, the, you know, the nation in comparison to the nation when it comes to participation rates? So the national response rate is 586 and Hialeah is actually at 58.7. So we're a little bit above the national response rate and also the state response rate and the county response rate. So I think Hialeah is in a really good position right now, um, but we still have until October 31st to self-respond. So we'll get the rest of um, the community who hasn't responded yet. That's awesome. You know, in, in Miami-Dade College uh, and the Hialeah campus and all the other campuses are working very diligently uh, with the U.S. Census to make sure that we increase those numbers. Uh, and we're on our campus, we're, we're trying different initiatives in order to do that, and those will be launched pretty soon. Uh, we got lucky that we got the, the extra few months here um, uh, that will help us as well in trying to increase those numbers. So we're really looking forward to working with you, Erica, and the U.S. Census to make sure that Hylia is represented and uh, we don't leave money on the table. We want to make sure that our community is receiving the services that they deserve. So thank you for joining us today. And thank all of you for joining us today with this first installment of Que Pasa Hialeah. We look forward to many more uh, so you get better uh, understanding of what's happening in our community and how we can help others grow. Thank you very much and have a great day.